what up guys how are you good to see you that's right jd here look it's really early i don't want to yell too loud but i want to tell you something it's day number four that's right we're on the road in a little bit i got a fire going here i got my business cards drying on the rack over there and it's gonna be amazing we are heading where are we heading today Oh my God, I Danbury, Connecticut. Let's go to Danbury. 63 miles today, it's gonna be awesome. Hope you guys enjoy the ride. And if you do, give a thumbs up to this video. Also, subscribe to our page, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and as always, go get some. Bow. What is up, guys? How are you? We're on the road, we're pedaling. I just had a little issue. I don't know if it's because it's wet and it's drying up and what, but it literally, uh, I started to short out on me when I was pedaling. So, uh, I don't know if it's a short, but the power wouldn't kick on. Um, it turned on the screen, but it didn't turn on my pedals. So, I don't know if there's a uh, loose connection somewhere. I'm going to check my wires. What up, guys? Little little different breakfast this morning than we had yesterday. The ham, egg, and cheese. I actually got uh, tricked out of that because it said bacon, egg, and cheese on the package, and when I opened it up, after I paid for it, that's probably why they said you have to pay for it first. It tricked me. I thought it was bacon. It wasn't bacon. It was ham, egg, and cheese, but it was still really good. Also, I had my five-hour energy. I got another five-hour energy, and I got my coffee. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna get on the road. We're already like two and a half miles into the ride, and we got a rock and roll. Yo, lactic acid buildup is no joke. My quads are fire. I just went up a nice little hill. Just wanted to share it with you guys. I love you. <laughs> I think it's starting to catch up with me. I've got Snickers, I've got fruit pie, and uh, they got a lot of uh, calories in them. 480 burning today. I'll probably burn like 2,000, 2 to 3,000 calories. Nice cars. Probably the crappiest road I've ever ridden on so far. Portland, Connecticut. Your roads are garbage. Like a hot dog. Oh, this is a situation now. Sweet, up a foot. <laughs> Tight squeeze, son. Yo, coolest thing on this bridge. I don't know, it's cool because it's super high. I almost feel like jumping, but then I get sucked down into the current. So, look at the bike. Ah! I just want to say on a side note, my pedal assist is working properly again. What happened was I turned it on while I was pedaling and you can't do that because it won't kick in. So you have to be stopped in order to turn it on and have it work. So for mine anyway, that's what happened. Oh, crocodile. Yeah. like back home but I can get this is the only map on my maps the only way I could get to it was to actually get onto the uh, where I'm going is on the highway and it was I, I don't know there was no signs I didn't see any signs when I got on we're doing you know no bicycles out of limited access highway no sir I'm not from here I'm from New Hampshire I'm on a cross country tour of maturity right now there's no limited access highway. I can see all your gear, but... What's that? See how 
dangerous it is. I do, it's super yeah, dangerous. I put, I put in, I put in my... Uh, Were you got on the highway, there were signs. There weren't any signs while I got on. Uh, there were always signs. I didn't see any. Uh, also, how do I get to um, Danbury from here on the bicycle then? Route 6, I'll get you a map. Alright, thank you. Hopefully you don't get it. Thank you. It's old, but it still works. This is it. Thank you. Very that's, much. Oh, that's just Connecticut. This is way better than the GPS on my phone. <laughs> what you're going to have to do is after the. Oh, Why wow, they have two officers, man? We got two officers. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to wait and see. We're going to wait and see what they're going to do. I don't think they're going to write me a ticket. Okay, so we just stopped at, uh, we just stopped at a pizza place and uh, guys, guys boxing over here. I have no idea, but we got pizza and we got our chips and we got a Coke and I'm um, going to answer some stuff. He's boxing right now. He's ready to go. He's ready to, bo he's boxing away. You guys ever on a, been on a never ending hill on your bike? I'm on run right now. I mean, we got two assists going five to four miles an hour. Up this hill just creeping. But doing it, pedal at the pedal, making it happen. Yo, I said it yesterday, I'll say it again. Hills are a metaphor for life. And I kid you not, because they are so hard to get up sometimes they hurt so bad sometimes and sometimes they'll just make you think twice about going up them but you're tough enough you'll climb that hill and you'll keep climbing it until you get to the top and over the top of it will be daylight and then you just walk down the back side oh it's nice very nice okay we got 30 4.2 miles left to get there. Oh, uh, Danbury, why are you so frustrating to get to? I'm just, I had to stop next to these trash buckets because I had to use the bathroom and take a break because I just climbed a hill for like a mile and a half. Oh, 9% oh, grade, let's go. Okay, that's better. It's starting to rain again. I'm gonna stay. It's uh, we're at Lake. It's called Lake Zor Drive-In. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and ice cream. Check it out. So I'm gonna get some food real quick because I'm starving, and uh, I'm like 17 miles from Danbury. So maybe I can find a place around here to crash, and then hammer on again tomorrow. My my uh, my my uh, gears are being funky, so they're starting to slip a little bit. So I don't know if there's too much grease on them. Or the chain is stretching. That's my guess. The chain might be stretching. So, all right. So we have a uh, we have a broken, uh, not a broken link, but a uh, a bent chain link that we have to find. Unfortunately, it's a super big bike. So, all right. So we found the brake. What? Oh, she's a snapper. Ah, right here. Broke. So you just gotta push those out. I gotta put a new link in and get going. So these actually aren't as hard as people think they are, but uh, they're not, uh, you got your little mechanism here, you get from Walmart or whatever, and it will push out here, so you can remove the chain, but you want to make sure you grab the chain before it slips. Right, we're going to end this vlog on a very eventful day, <laughs> I'm trying to be very patient beside the uh, firehouse at Sandy Hook. Connecticut and uh, we're gonna end the vlog on this because my hands are black as you can see my chain is jacked up and I have to fix it for the third time um, in one spot so anyway I'm gonna have to stay positive for you guys if you can please subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up if you like the video from today also like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter follow us on Instagram make a donation to the positive vibe store.com and let's get to the goal. I love you guys. Have a good night. I'm gonna get my chain fixed, and then I actually am gonna be. Somebody stopped to help me, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go up there to their house and they have dinner for me. So I'm super excited to eat that. But they're nine miles away, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.